Back at the Bonaventure Hotel. Glad you could be with us. I'm Fred Salas, and you're watching All-Star Promotions, Kaboom MMA, and Corona Extra presenting the relentless battle for Los Angeles. Let's move down to the center of the cage with Jimmy Fitzgerald as he's set to announce our next match. Take it away, Jimmy. Angelo killing him, Henry looking on, Manny Murillo out of Temecula, California, also referred to as the Sarge, getting ready, three rounds of MMA boxing in the light heavyweight division. 205 pound class, two left hands to the head of Murillo, quickly has him down on the canvas, and he's trying to rally now and take down Angelo Henry. Take your time, take your time, relax. He's mounted, Henry. Amazing turn of events like our previous bout. This is fight number 10. Schedule has 12 on our roster. Elevate that leg. Elevate that inside leg. It was Murillo. It was Murillo who originally went down with a couple of shots to the head, and now it's Henry who's on his back here early in round number one. Mario coming in with a 6-0 record. Angelo Henry on his back taking shots to the head came in with a 4-1 record. And now Mario. There's a takedown by Henry. And Murillo trying to get the leg lock. And Henry in a little bit of trouble here. A triangle. And we'll see if Henry can fight his way out. Oxygen in short supply here with less than a minute left to go in round number one. Ten seconds. End of round number one. Blood coming out of the nose of Angelo Henry. Murillo looks healthy and ready to start round number two as we speak.
And again, the beauty floating through the California ballroom here at the Bonaventure Hotel. Always a fan favorite. Got to hand it to All-Star Promotions at Holmes. Pete Hiranaka making tonight's fights happen. There you go to look at Manny Murillo out of Temecula. Undefeated at 6-0. He's known as Sarge. His opponent, Angelo Henry, out of Seaside, California. 4-1. Amazing to see Murillo hit the canvas to start the first round and end up getting the advantage by the end of round number one. Here we go with round number two, scheduled for three. Steve Davis, the referee in charge. Little trickery by Angelo Henry. That will not earn you respect from his opponent, Murillo. Murillo, very exposed, taking some hits to the jaw. And down he goes. Angelo Henry. Content to start second, the second round of three, throwing punches. He's got an arm block on Murillo, the left arm. And Henry talking to our referee, Steve Davis. And the legs coming to close to the jaw illegally. No warning. Side mount now by Manny Murillo. Followed up with some left hands. Short left hooks to the head and the side mount continues. Murillo in control at the moment in round number two scheduled for three. This is for the light heavyweight California State Championship. The crucifix by Murillo now on Angelo killing him Henry. And another mount. 10 seconds left. Combination to the head of Henry. Lost his mouthpiece. He is in trouble right now. Saved by the horn. And the conclusion of round number two. Angelo Henry clearly in trouble in that round. And he needs his corner to help him back. Again, the women of Los Angeles are ring girls tonight, brought to you by Corona Extra. And it's that man, Manny Murillo, putting the extra hurt on Angelo Henry in round number two. Damage and domination. Unofficially a 10-8 round going in favor of Murillo. And round two scheduled for three. This is for the California State Championship, the Camo Light Heavyweight Champion. Referee Steve Davis sends them back to their respective spots. And here we go, the third and final round. Left kick to the torso of Henry and Henry looks Hands up, man. Hands up, man. a little shaken up coming out in round Hands number three. And it's Murillo who seems to be in control, but we've been eight, fooled eight, before eight, eight, tonight. Eight. Right hand to the head of Murillo. And a left hand to the head of Henry. Henry in trouble, and Steve Davis will stop the bout. You could see it coming, Murillo happy about the outcome and he will be named the Camel California State Light Heavyweight Champion. 
Meanwhile, Angelo Henry still on his back and in a lot of pain on the canvas. Manny Mario will move to 7-0 as you look at Angelo Henry being attended to by physicians ringside. Steve Davis, our referee in charge, stopping it in time. An exciting matchup and a turn of events in more ways than we can count. We'll look at the throws being tossed by Mario. And it was that left hand that caught the chin and then the takedown against the cage by Manny Murillo and Steve Davis, you see, not letting any further damage come to the head of Angelo Henry. There it is, the left hand, and watch the takedown. That also contributed to the demise of Angelo killing him Henry. And again, Steve Davis on top of the action, calling it just as he could see that the fighter has thrown his last blow. And a break of the action with Angelo Henry still on his back. We'll come back with the official decision right after these messages. we saw let's take a look at the takedown or the knockdown one more time it was the fist to the jaw that started the demise of Angelo Henry and then the takedown and Steve Davis jumps in and calls it quits that's it let's go down to the center of the cage with our ring announcer Jimmy Fitzgerald for the official decision ladies and gentlemen at 25 seconds of round number three referee in charge Steve Davis stops the contest due to strikes our winner by TKO, he is the new California State Light Heavyweight Champion, the Red Corner. Well, Manuel Murillo clearly. If we go back to the first few seconds of round number one, he was knocked down by Angelo Henry. Clearly knocked down, two shots to the jaw, and he comes back to finish off his opponent, Angelo Henry, to capture the Camo California State Championship in the light heavyweight division. What a night of fights we've had here tonight. We've got two left on our schedule. Coming up, the heavyweights right after this. Stay with us.